Hi guys, I'm Paul. In this video I'm going to explain how many Casper I think you need to be a millionaire. And stay watching until the end as I will give my detailed price prediction for the next bull run. I will cover Casper tokenomics as well as key points to consider and the future outlook for the Casper network. I will also compare Casper and Bitcoin's ecosystems so keep watching to see which blockchain is the winner. Just a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is meant for educational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Okay, now let's begin. About Casper. Casper is a decentralized, open source, scalable layer one blockchain, which uses a proof of work consensus mechanism and ghost DAG protocol, and is the world's first block DAG, which is a digital ledger enabling near instant transaction processing. Casper was built to solve the blockchain trilemma issue of security, scalability and decentralization, as most blockchain technologies don't have all three. And to give an example, a blockchain which has the highest level of security normally suffers when it comes to fast transaction speeds. And in the case of Binance's BNB, it's secure and scalable, but is very centralized. A statement on CoinMarketCap website talking about Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, said it best as follows. The blockchain trilemma is a concept coined by Vitalik Buterin that proposes a set of three main issues, decentralization, security and scalability, that developers encounter when building blockchains, forcing them to ultimately sacrifice one aspect for another as a trade-off to accommodate the other two. Casper offers all three of these desired components of security, scalability and decentralization, which I feel is a game changer for this layer one blockchain and the overall cryptocurrency space. CAS is a native digital cryptocurrency coin of the Casper ecosystem and is used to pay for transaction fees on the network and for distributing mining rewards. What I think makes this project unique is Casper launched with no pre-mining, pre-sales or token allocations, which means no large corporations owned or bought large shares on launch day and therefore keeping Casper as 100% decentralised. The Casper mainnet launched publicly in November 2021 and was founded by Johanton Saplinski, a computer scientist and one of the original researchers behind the ghost DAG protocol Casper uses today. Casper's all-time high price at time of recording is 0.0534 of a cent. Casper Supply and Tokenomics the Casper blockchain launched with a total max supply of 28.7 billion coins and has a current circulating supply of around 20.8 billion coins. The CAS coin is used to power the Casper ecosystem for distributing minor rewards and to secure the network. Casper has an emission schedule that halves once per year through a smooth monthly reduction mechanism and this halving event helps to stop inflation that could otherwise affect the price and make it more valuable over time in a similar way to Bitcoin. The term halving is an event whereby rewards received for validating transaction blocks decrease by half and what this does is it reduces the rate at which the supply of CAS coins enter circulation, therefore increasing scarcity and theoretically for investors making the price go up over time. The Casper emission schedule diagram shows a higher release rate in early stages and with earlier miners able to accumulate a large number of coins and with this gradually decreasing over time until it hits the maximum supply rate. The CAS coin is primarily used to pay for transaction fees on the network and has three main use cases on the platform including Transaction fees. Users can use the CAS coin to pay for transactions on the network. Staking rewards. Users can stake CAS coins to help secure the network and earn rewards for doing so. Governance. Users of the network have a right to vote on various future updates and upgrades to the Casper ecosystem. Casper Ghost DAG. Casper uses a technology called Ghost DAG, which stands for Greedy Heaviest Observed Subtree Directed Acylic Graph Protocol and is a scalable generalization of the Nakamoto consensus, which derives its name from the Bitcoin founder, Satoshi Nakamoto. The Nakamoto consensus is basically a set of rules which verify the authenticity of a blockchain network using a proof of work consensus algorithm. And Bitcoin uses a singular chain structure, whereas GhostDAG uses a direct acyclic graph or DAG structure, whereby a block can be added without waiting on a previous block to be completed. 
What these differences of structure do is make Bitcoin a low scalable blockchain with limited network throughput and enables Casper to be the opposite, a fast and highly scalable protocol with a higher throughput. Casper Mining Casper is able to offer the fastest proof-of-work mineable coin currently on the market while still being decentralised and offers near-instant block rates using its BlockDAG architecture. So what is BlockDAG? BlockDAG or Block Directed Acyclic Graph allows multiple blocks to be added without waiting for a previous one to be completed and this allows Casper to be a less energy intensive option to other blockchains. The main advantages of using BlockDAG technology is enhanced scalability, improved security, faster transaction times and network efficiency during busy and quiet transaction periods. Casper Mining is based on K-heavy hash, which is a custom-built algorithm that is designed so it doesn't depend on using substantial memory usage when mining, and can be successfully mined on GPUs and future specialised equipment. Casper Development Roadmap The Casper Development Diagram shows the current completed under testing, development and planning roadmap as follows. Dagnite Consensus Research Publication in February 2023, Casper published a paper on Dagnite Consensus, an evolution of GhostDag, which theoretically lays down the groundwork for even faster transactions and confirmation times. Still under testing. Casper Rust language coding. Casper are currently rewriting the programming language from Golang to Rust, which will provide a significant boost in Casper's overall performance and speed. Mobile wallet development. A mobile device wallet is currently being developed which will add to the already existing Casper desktop wallet and command line interface wallet. Integrate Casper for use on Ledger. Soon users will be able to send and receive their Cas coins quickly and securely using the Ledger hardware wallet. Still under development and planning. Casper also has a number of developments in the pipeline including Upgrade consensus to follow Dagnite protocol. Further increase blocks per second and transactions per second. Release an official white paper in 2023. And lastly, implement smart contracts to Casper with the aim of creating the ultimate layer one that offers smart contracts, DeFi and layer two applications on it. Key points of Casper. Casper has several benefits that make it a great layer one blockchain, including fully decentralized, Casper was launched without any pre-mining, pre-sales or token allocations, making it a truly decentralised platform. Solves the blockchain trilemma. Casper easily balances the blockchain trilemma of security, scalability and decentralisation. Low transaction fees. Transaction fees for Casper are very low, are on average only 0.001 per transaction. Open source. Casper is 100% open source, meaning its source code and software are available to use by the public. Casper versus Bitcoin. When comparing the ecosystems of Casper and Bitcoin, they both use the proof of work consensus mechanism, but Casper uses an enhanced proof of work consensus, which allows Casper to be a more scalable blockchain solution. Also, Casper uses an advanced DAG structure, as mentioned earlier in the video, whereas Bitcoin uses a traditional blockchain structure. In terms of transaction speeds, Casper can handle around 300 transactions per second, which is much faster than Bitcoin, who can handle only around 7 transactions per second. Also, it should be noted, Casper was able to reach around 3,000 transactions per second in testing. When it comes to reliability, it's difficult to really compare the two given Casper is newer to the market compared to Bitcoin, which has been around since 2009, so Bitcoin wins this when it comes to reliability given its history. Decentralization, one of the key components for crypto investors today, is equal for Casper and Bitcoin, as they both had a fair launch with no pre-mining, pre-sales or token allocations. Finally, when it, comparing Casper and Bitcoin transaction fees, Casper offers lower fees than Bitcoin. So to conclude, when it comes to scaling transaction speed and transaction fees, I think Casper beats Bitcoin. But on reliability, Bitcoin is still far ahead of Casper given the time and history Bitcoin has in the market. 
How many Casper to be a millionaire in the next bull run? Okay, so before we look at the price prediction for Casper in the next bull run, let's remind ourselves of Casper's previous all-time high price, which was 0.0534%. This price gave it a market cap at the time of around 1 billion. I think Casper can be a top 10 project in the next bull run, given its unique advantages of solving the blockchain trilemma issue of security, scalability and decentralization. With all this information on the conservative end of my price prediction and not financial advice, just my opinion, I think Casper could increase its price to $1, which would give it a market cap of around 20 billion in the next bull run. On the higher end of my price prediction, if Casper was able to get into the top 10, which I do believe is possible in the next bull run, given all the points above, this would give it a price of $3 and a market cap of 60 billion. I believe a price of between $1 and $3 Casper is possible in the next bull run. But how many Casper would you need to be a millionaire in the next bull run? Using CoinStats, a crypto profit calculator, if we enter the current price and the predicted sell price of $1, we can see it would require a fairly significant investment of $50,000 at today's price to get to the $1 million mark in the next bull run. If we do the same again, but this time set the sell price at the very high end of our price prediction of $3, you would need an investment of around $17,000 at today's price to get to the $1 million mark in the next bull run. At the $1 price prediction, you would need to buy around 1 million CAS, which is an investment of $50,000 at today's price to become a millionaire in the next bull run. At the very high end of our $3 price prediction, you would need to buy around 341,000 CAS, which is an investment of $17,000 at today's price to become a millionaire in the next bull run. Casper Future Outlook. I believe Casper's future outlook looks really exciting. Its technology really stands out to me over other layer one blockchains as it fixes the blockchain trilemma issue of offering the combined high level of security, scalability and decentralization. One thing to mention though is Casper has had a massive surge in price in 2023 already, gaining over 19,000%. So some could see this as a concern, while others will see this as further clarification that Casper is a project that is becoming more popular and if this continues, the possibilities are endless when it comes to where the price could be in the next few years, when we hopefully enter back into a new bull market. With all this said, Casper has an impressive blockchain and when comparing it to other proof of work blockchains in the market, like Bitcoin and Litecoin, for example, Casper's speed, scalability and high transaction speeds make it an appealing project for investors. And I look forward to watching to see how Casper continues to grow and gain further adoption in the years to come. As always, if you like this video, I think you'll like this video next and please be sure to hit the subscribe button to help support the channel and stay notified of when I post my next video. Thank you.